Dame Deborah James has shared an update on her health battle, two weeks after she revealed she is now receiving end-of-life care. The mom of two was diagnosed with bowel cancer in 2016 and this month she raised over £6 million for her Bowel Babe Fund and hopes to reach the £7 million mark. The 40-year-old was recently awarded a damhood by Prince William who visited her parents' home in Surrey. Deborah looked to be in good spirits as she posed for pictures alongside her husband Sebastian Bowen and their two children, son Hugo. 14, and daughter Eloise, 14. Speaking in a new interview, she admitted to being scared to fall asleep but added she doesn't plan on dying soon. Deborah added she felt constantly exhausted, as she spoke from her parents' woking home. The truth is, I don't know how long I've got left, Deborah explained. She went on, I don't feel like I'm on my deathbed. I'm not planning on dying anytime soon but it's just so unpredictable. I'm scared to fall asleep and that's one of the biggest reasons I'm so tired. I am scared to go to sleep. Deborah praised the medical staff who have gone above and beyond to care for the mom of two. When questioned if she was in any pain, she said it felt more like discomfort. The BBC podcast host revealed she had nasty stomach problems over the weekend. She added to The Sun, It's ironic, I've spent the last five years talking about poo, and breaking the poo taboo. Dot unbelievably grim Dan Walker reacts to Texas school shooting latest Demi Rose almost spills out of string bikini top in sizzling pics pictures Ricky Gervais shares concerns saying going to die soon video, it's typical I suffer with a s stomach now. The Bowel Babe broadcaster recently gushed over her rock Sebastian and how they are able to swallow the tears and enjoy the last part of her life together. Deborah shared a picture of herself in a wheelchair as her husband kneeled down next to her outside RHS garden before the crowds arrived last week. The brave star wrote a heartfelt message to her followers as she gushed over his help as her new book, How to Live When You Could Be Dead, is set to be released. She penned in view of her 756,000 Instagram followers, Seb whisked me bit of a mission but worth it, at the crack of dawn to Atrus Wesley before all the crowds. To say well be done for the book launch, and it was just perfect for an hour. I haven't left the house in 10 days as I have been too weak, and whilst I'm now going to snooze for most of the day, in the sun like a cat, I love this picture that reminds me of vibrant green life all around despite the sadness of knowing the state of my body inside. But Seb is not a rock for me and together we seem to be able to squeeze our hands, swallow the tears and laugh instead. She continued, I'm blown away and utterly grateful by the response to the book pre-launch and the sheer numbers of you who have kindly ordered it not only contributing to the at Bow Babby Fund but also making it number one in the best sellers Amazon list. It's always been my pipe dream to write a bestseller. My first book just missed out, so maybe just maybe I'll never know about this one, but I'm sure I'll be celebrating somewhere.